The next set of tools we're going to learn how to use are the healing brush tools. And they're located just above your brush tool. There's the spot healing brush, the healing brush, and also the patch tool. And the first one we're going to use is our spot healing brush tool. Now let's open up the, uh, the family JPEG that we downloaded. And I'm going to go ahead and close out the parents. We'll come back to that one in just a little bit. But you can see in this photograph, it has its own unique set of challenges. Not only does it have a few spots and speckles, but it also has lots of scratches and even tears that go um, through the photograph and across some of the people, and uh, some scuff marks that take out some of the major details in this photograph. Now, let me choose my zoom tool. and Let's go ahead and zoom in and see some of these major details up close. Um, now with our clone brush tool that we learned how to use, of course I can uh, select an area and quickly paint over it and take out all these spots and stuff. But if I try to take out some of these major areas, it becomes very, very tedious, very, very hard to reselect areas and make sure that they, uh, they're compatible with uh, what you're trying to clone and uh, having to go back and forth. What these healing brush tools will allow you to do, uh, they'll do all the work for you. Now the healing brush tools work just like a regular brush. You can adjust the size of it and the spacing and the hardness. And I'm going to make the hardness uh, be a very soft edge. And um, <clears throat> also be sure that you want to either uh, have your proximity match selected and that your mode is set to normal. Now <clears throat> What the uh, healing brush tool will do is it'll allow you to paint over an area by clicking and dragging and you can see it becomes dark. And when I release my mouse and let up, it automatically takes the pixels that surround your, um, your selection and it will merge them into the area that you painted over. And so in other words, it does the work of the clone, br uh, the clone brush of selecting to, uh, pixels in an area and uh, goes ahead and clones that those pixels into the area you've painted over. So let's take this um, little area up here. So if I paint and I release, it automatically selects the surrounding pixels and covers up that area that I painted over. So it's very easy to simply paint over an area and have Photoshop fill it magically straight in. And in one click, you can also take out lots of little spots. Let's try this long one over here, see how that would work. Aha! You can see that big area that I did, it uh, doesn't have quite the same texture as this outer edge. It's almost too blurry. So let me back up one. <clears throat> and we want to make that, our brush, a lot smaller. So now when I, with my smaller brush, if I click over it, much better. You get a lot more of that texture that's around in there. When using this, big, make sure that you work in smaller strokes. You don't want it to uh, select too big of an area like I did last time. And also try to vary the size of your brush to uh, depending on the size of the line or the dot that you're working on. So you see I have a much thinner line, so I'm going to use a thinner brush and I get much better results from there. Again, if I made my brush bigger and painted over it, quickly, quickly takes out everything else that surrounds it very easily. Now, we're going to have some difficulty on top of these um, the children's faces because if I just simply paint over it, you can see it's going to take out a lot of the details that are important to their face. So I'm going to go to Edit and Undo. So make sure you're working with a small brush. Change the size of it. And so in one click, let's do his forehead. And also right there. And continuing on outside of his head. And it may take several passes, but you'll be able to clean it up. And you can see we've very quickly taken out the lines that cross his face. Continuing down, let's go down to the sister. You'll also notice sometimes it'll uh, pick up little fragments that you may not want to be on there. So it may take several passes with this brush. Clicking, take out that scratch, that scratch there. 
just paint over all the areas we want to heal up. <clears throat> now you can see very quickly we've taken out lots of the major scratches in this photograph using only the, uh, the healing brush tool, the spot healing brush tool. The regular healing brush tool works just like the spot healing brush and the clone stamp. It allows you to select the area of pixels that you want to uh, choose from. Rather than the surrounding pixels, let's say I wanted to choose pixels from her dress to, uh, to heal up pixels on the dress down here. So if I start painting over this area and I release, you can see it starts to match that area. Let's try going over to an area that wouldn't match. Let's say I'm going to choose by holding down my option key. You see I get my, uh, my gun sight and I click once. Now if I start painting over in this area and I release, it does a relatively good job too. It matches the texture of her dress and tries to blend it in with the paper in the background. <laughs> the final tool we're going to learn is the patch healing tool and it looks just like a, a regular patch would. To use this tool, it works more like a selection tool and <clears throat> it'll help you to paint in large areas of, uh, of, an, of a, a photograph that you don't want to paint over with your healing brush tool. So to use this one, we're going to click and drag and we're going to select, like using a lasso tool, an area and with it uh, clicked on it, I can click and drag. And as you see, as I start to drag, it will copy wherever I have it, um, wherever the, uh, the copy drag is, is being put. And so let's drag it down to an area that's unblemished, like this area of her dress. And if I release, automatically you see it copies that area of the dress onto there and it blends everything in. Let me go to undo bring the patch back to there. So now you see the blemish as it was. Also make sure in, a, in our um, menu options that either the source or the destination is selected. With source, let me click on this area of her dress and get rid of these two patches. When I move, <coughs> it's going to uh, copy the pixels from the source that we selected. And so as I drag it around, and find an area that's unblemished for it to copy. It copies all those picture, pixels to the source that we did. <clears throat> but if I choose destination and I click an area, it's not going to uh, change this. Instead, it's going to copy the pixels that I highlighted, that I lassoed, and copy them to the area that I moved them to. to. So in this case, I've actually copied a blemish on there. So to use the destination of the patch tool, let's select an unblemished area and move it on top of a blemished area. And there you see it covers it up. So that's one quick way of selecting an area that you want to keep and making quick copies of it onto areas that you do want to keep. <clears throat> Again, the spot healing brush tool and will change our size will allow you to simply in a few clicks cover up an area. The healing brush tool will allow you to select the area you want to copy the pixels from by holding down our option key and you can quickly paint in the pixels. And our patch tool will allow you to select large areas of pixels and either move them or copy them to an area that you want to heal up. And again, that entire area is healed up and looks perfect <coughs> from what we worked from. Again, move that down, copy it into there. So now when I back back out, you can see very quickly that we've gotten rid of a lot of the major lines, a lot of the blemishes, and some of the tears using just these three tools.